Wow. The market cap has gained so many billions in the last three to four days. Like, like what, 50, 60, 70 billion? Absolutely. Ast and the thing about it is, when I said the lid was off, I really meant it because if you haven't really cuz I went back and I studied pretty much every bubble and I've talked to, you know, that's one of my good things. I like to um get contacts with people who have been there and done that. And we everyone wants to compare bubbles. Yes, cryptocurrency will enter a bubble just like any great thing. Any new revolutionary thing is going to turn into a bubble because there's just going to be people who just go insane, the slow buyers. 90% of people are just on the fence with everything in life. And, it, you know, they jump in at the last minute when they see it's inevitable. This is what happens. Like, crypto was like this little speck in the corner. And now people everywhere know what it is. They at least heard of it in some form or fashion, whether it's negative or positive. And does it matter if you heard of something negative or positive? If it's in the negative light, as long as it's going up in price. That's all that matters. If you heard about Bitcoin... When Jamie was talking about it, and it was a uh, what, like three, four thousand, five thousand dollars, not even. And then the China FUD right after dropped down to like two thousand. So you know, a lot of people probably saw Bitcoin around that price, and now they're like, "Wow, I remember when it was two thousand. That's that awareness. That's why it was good when the haters came out because they were just like showing people the price of Bitcoin, basically. Because if you didn't hear of it before. Everyone was talking about the price. They're like, Jamie Dimon, the price of Bitcoin is XXX. So what do you think? He's like, oh, it's a fraud. Everyone heard that. And now everyone's hearing Bitcoin broke $10,000. Jamie's going to be doing future tradings. They just said the NASDAQ is going to be adding it. Everything's going to be adding the uh, the futures. Bitcoin's about to just absolutely go parabolic with all the cryptocurrencies. Um, it's just, it, it's what it is. The people still don't understand. I still heard a new, uh, you know, one of my things is I love watching all the Hearing what everyone has to say about it in the mainstream because you just kind of get a vibe of where everyone else and everyone's just still a lot of people are just still clueless. They're, you know, these important business people come out talking about, well, we like the underlying technology of blockchain of Bitcoin, but we don't think Bitcoin is good. And <clears throat> they don't understand that it's like, well, it doesn't matter. Bitcoin is just the name of the blockchain. Um, your private blockchains, like I said in yesterday's video, you're dust. You're out of there. And, you know, once that clicks. And they actually realize it, then the real FOMO is going to, then it's going to be absolutely crazy. You're going to see the trillion dollar market, trillions dollar market cap. Bitcoin's going to be, it's just what it is, right? You wake up and Bitcoin goes up a thousand, two thousand, you know, it's up three, four thousand dollars in the last two or three days. It just keeps jumping and keeps jumping. People are asking, you know, oh, should I buy in the dip? When should I buy in? You know, I'm not a financial advisor. What I would do if I had zero money and now I was gifted a thousand dollars, I would just, I don't, it's kind of like, it's, it's tough at this point because you're, it's like you're in the herd of the ro roaring bulls. You know, I, I was hearing friends were saying, well, I want to get in, but I'm going to wait for the dip. And that was at like 8,000, 7,000, because you don't, you know, you got to remember, we just went on a giant bull run from 5,000. You know, 6,000, 7,000, these were all new highs. And every time there's a new high, people are like, oh, man, I don't know. So, you know, it's very tough when people say, well, I don't buy in on the pumps. You know, I, gener I generally don't. I also don't care if I miss out. I'm not, I don't get the FOMO. I don't have that. I think that's a very bad thing to get. I think you have to be very grounded and not worry so much about this moment, but realize that there's ups and downs in life and that there's going to be other opportunities. So, you know, what I would do is I would just diversify. I would, um... I would I would just get a coin and I, I wouldn't diversify with thousand dollars. I would find a coin that I liked and I would just go all in on it. Maybe maybe two coins. Um it's tough to say on a dip. You know, the market cap is just roaring. There's the money is just flooding in. This is nothing. This is absolutely nothing. This market cap right here. Um there's gonna be a floodgate of people that are going to enter crypto that are entering as more and more ways. It's just too easy. I was listening to somebody. I think it was a governor. Somebody was talking about it. And it was like, but it, he was like, when I used it for the first time, I couldn't believe it. 
and I just absolutely knew that this was going to be the future. It just, there's nothing that can stop it because it's just too easy to use. It's so cheap. It's so convenient. You just pull out your phone. You can send any amount of money to anybody and around the world. It's only going to get more secure. It's going to user interfaces are only going to get better. The apps are only going to get better. That's one thing Bitcoin lacks. We need better user interfaces. You know, Exodius is a decent wallet, but we need better, you know, that shit needs to be real slick. Um, you know, you know, my grandma needs to be able to send Bitcoin from one person to another. Um, when that can happen, then you're going to see just the floodgates are absolutely just going to blow open. I want to, um, all right. So basically, um, what are we going to do? That's a good refresh. It's good to keep a short video today. It's my girlfriend's birthday, but. Dash is just absolutely, wow. And, you know, I'm in a bunch of groups now. I'm in so many groups. All of my groups have different signals, like they're saying different things. I'm in even all the paid groups. I don't care. At this point, inf information of any kind. I actually found some of the freer sources the best, but um, there's, a few, there's a few good ones that I just want to, you know, I don't even pay. I don't pay for signals or anything like that. I just pay for analysis. You know, I got a, I got a team that basically researches Ethereum all the time, Bitcoin all the time, Bitcoin Cash all the time, um, even Ripple, anything, anything to do with crypto that could do affect Bitcoin in any way or any shape or form. So, you know, people don't understand Ripple is still kind of, you know, I mean, it's, it's basically the bank's way of doing it. It's never going to compete with Bitcoin because people love Bitcoin, but it is a transfer of value and it is owned by the banks. So I want to know everything that's going on with all of this. And it's amazing. All the all the information I'm getting, there's basically just so much going on right now. And it really doesn't matter. That's what people don't understand. Scaling debate, this or that, it doesn't fucking matter. Bitcoin has made it. It, it, it pushed through for the nine years and got to where it is and took every, all the cryptos with it. And there's nothing anyone could do now. It's just it's it's just going to go parabolic. It's just going to go way into the sky. It, it is what it is. It has a name recognition. It's all around the world. Um, Bitcoin has made it. And there's a lot of other. Like, it just seems like Litecoin is going to go up with Bitcoin too. It seems like every time they're almost attached at the hip, which is kind of kind of different in a way. It seems like the Lightning Network and Bitcoin Cash. Every a lot of things are in the green right now. Um, and people ask me. Man, Dan, I, you know, I'm tired of making bad trades. Like, I, yeah, I make bad trades sometimes. I mean, it's not, it happens. I remember I wanted to cash out. I had the option of NEO. Um, I think it was at like 35, 36 at the time. And then Ethereum, it was like 400. And Litecoin was at like 80. I think I sold some Litecoin and some Ethereum. And then the very next day, they both go up like 10, 15%. Because I needed some fiat. Uh, I mean, it happens. It happens to the best of everybody. There's nothing, you know, you can't worry about that shit. You just keep focusing on what's coming ahead. Um, and there, there are some, there are some reds. There are some coins that are some good buys right now, in my opinion. Um, it just seems like you just got to catch them when they, when they fucking drop. Cause people, especially when Bitcoin goes on a bull run, if you have your lures set across a bunch of coins, um, you're gonna you're gonna hit because people are when when Bitcoin broke 11, that's when I started seeing Syscoin drop. Um, all these coins just you'll see them drop by 10. percent When a coin can drop by 10 percent in like a few hours, that's somebody dumping for Bitcoin. It's that simple, and it happens. It's a very. It, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's fucking. It's you got to be out there. It's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of good things happening, but you know these coins. You never know when Bitcoin is just going to shoot up a thousand in these dumps. So, you know, you just got to have refined lures. You got to be in there. You really got to pay attention. And the cool thing is Bitcoin doesn't even need news to rise. It just rises now. It doesn't even need news. People are like, oh, why is Bitcoin? What's the news? Like, yeah, we have the futures and all that. But like, it doesn't need news anymore. It just only bad news slows it down. So that's the only thing that slows Bitcoin down is bad news. And I was, I was listening to somebody talk about price discovery. It's like, well, there's no price discovery of Bitcoin. So, you know, like with the precious metals, you can price discovery. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, dude, it costs like $1,500, if not more at this point, to create a Bitcoin. How is there no price discovery? Not only that, nobody's going to make a Bitcoin for $1,500, you know, $1, $2,000, and then sell it for $2,000. No, they're going to sell it for double because they have bills. They have to make a profit. 
So that's the price discovery right there. You can put up, you know, it's three, four thousand dollars just to get it out of the miners' hands. So there's definitely a price discovery. That's why proof of work is a very valid way to do it. Um, I, I saw one of these memes on Crypto Daily sh um, channel. And it was talking about like NASCAR and all these wasteful energies, but yet people talk about mining. It's like, dude, this is going to revolutionize all of money, all of humankind, how we do everything. It's going to end corruption, could even save the world because there's going to be so much corruption cleared up. And, you know, hell, charities might actually get their money, right, guys? And then everyone's up in arms. So, yeah, it's kind of like our priority priorities in life are ass backwards. There's a lot of ways we could save energy, but we don't. And, um, you know, if proof of work is needed to solve the monetary issues of this planet then yeah mining is the way to go we just you know then there's more efficient ways to do it with water like you know solar there's a lot um but yeah i have a list of notes but you know tune in for next tomorrow's show i'm gonna keep this one short cheers guys this has been awesome just amazing amazing run people are making just fortunes right now we're seeing the transfer of the world's wealth it's just such an amazing time uh, not to be taken for granted Really spend time with your friends and family. Absorb the moments. Enjoy these moments. Don't just stay glued to the crypto coin market cap. You know, actually enjoy life. Enjoy the gains. Live for the moment. All right, I'm going to kill it here. Happy birthday once again to my beautiful girlfriend, Gabby. We're about to go out to eat. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Cheers. Peace.